pretty sure. But anyway, I just I don't intend to talk to her anymore. I just went ahead and like asked um, this other girl I met on Tinder out for a date. Just to like kinda just try to move on like with anything, you know. Fucking palpatines here. No, it just sounds fucking gay. So um I don't know, this girl's pretty cool. Like, I don't know, I struggle because it's like I go for like the hottest girl and I feel like if I don't date the hottest girl possible then I'm fucking selling out and I don't have any confidence or something. So I just like, I don't know, that's so, I feel like such a fucking douchebag sometimes, like so superficial, like I'm settling for somebody. But... Control back soon. We'll have to see the position. Yeah. Um. We can do this. I don't. They're all fucking crazy. Like. I thought Karen was super hot. And. She's fucking insane. Like the craziest person I've ever met. Yeah, so... Yeah, and she had fucking massive tits. Like, I want to say I'm ass more than tits. But I love tits. You know, it's like a... I would say like a 70-30. Yeah. Where like, really good tits could make up for like a... Myself. Like a 5 out of 10 ass maybe. You know? Like a 9 out of 10 tits could make up for a 5 ass maybe. But like, if it's below a 5 ass where it's a no ass, I can't do it. I can't handle the no ass. A true no ass is a, <laughs> yeah, like the first thing I look at is going to be ass, but like when you look at face, you automatically see tits in the peripheral, so it's kind of, you know what I mean? So I don't know, like, I, whenever I see like somebody's online thing, like on Tinder, like I just want to see their ass. I mean, you can't. Because nobody puts an ass pick unless it's like a major fucking slut. Nobody's gonna put an ass pick. Can you stop? Boss there. Yeah, like, I mean, like, Karen's kind of chubby, but I kind of like that. I don't know why. But, I mean, she's not, but she also hides it with her clothes, because she <laughs> always wears black. But, like, I've never, <laughs> like, tit fucked somebody, but I did her, and it was, like, <laughs> fucking incredible. Yeah. Like, yeah, literally. So, I don't know, she's so, like, like perfect as far as what I consider hot. But then, like, my dad's like, just please don't fucking talk to her. She's fucking crazy. Like, she's gonna, yeah, I don't like her at all. 
feel like she's gonna end up pregnant and they're gonna be stuck with some psycho bitch. Yeah, that's what he told me. And he's like, and then you're gonna ruin your fucking life with having to deal with this bitch forever. I was like, you know. <laughs> Dude, I make questionable choices though. No, I said condoms OP, Dad. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> like that, that's putting, that's saying, he's putting more on you than her. Like. Yeah. He's like, he's saying, he's saying, like, she's so crazy, she's gonna do something to, like, try to get pregnant or something. Like, he doesn't really know her. Like, he knows she's crazy, but, like, his vision of what cr her crazy is is not what she is. She's, like, a different level crazy. But the thing is, and I, I guess this doesn't follow true to every dude, but we, we get that final decision no matter what. No matter yeah. Crazy, yeah. Or, or yeah. I mean, like, I have not Right. You fucking know, like, you know what's happening. You know what you're doing. That's what I never got about accidents. You know? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, are you serious? You know what's happening. You know when it's coming. Just like... I mean... Yeah, you know when it's fucking coming. I just don't get it, like... And yeah, so I don't know. I'm super bummed about Karen because if she was just like in like a seven crazy, it could work, you know. And she's like a nine crazy. And it's just the most stubborn person I've ever met in my life. To the point where we we will never agree on politics ever. And I just can't, like, I can, like, avoid it and just not talk about it and just, like, let it go when she makes a comment or something. But when I make a comment, she cannot let it go. And it's, it's a fight to the fucking death. You know, and that's what happened over Thanksgiving is I asked her if they were having like traditional turkey or whatever for Thanksgiving and Trump turkey. what Trump what? turkey <laughs> <laughs> oh god well anyway so I said that and she goes what because we're Mexican you think we can't have traditional Thanksgiving turkey I was like, no, I was just fucking saying because like sometimes we've had Italian food for Thanksgiving just because we didn't want turkey. So we made a huge like different kind of and she just wouldn't let it go. She's like, just admit, just admit that that's what you meant. Just tell me, why are you lying? And I'm like, you know, it's like, why are you fucking attacking me? For something one I didn't do, and then you're automatically telling me that I'm lying about it. It's just that's fucking unacceptable. Like I can't deal with that. Like you don't you don't know me well enough by now to know that I'm not being fucking racist when I ask you what food your mom made because I'm I like her recipes and like her stuffed peppers are super awesome and I like ask about them and stuff like. I just don't get it. Like, what the fuck is that? That kind of stuff is just, she's insane. Like, that's nuts. Yeah, like, how does she not know? Yeah, like, she knows me better than that. Like, surely, I always do good stuff for her. Like, 
Be right before I left, like the day before I left, she said she'd really wanted banana bread. And I made fucking banana bread and drove it over for her. Like, that's like some fucking spoiling shit there, you know? You know, like, that's going out of my way to really do something nice for her right before I left. And then, like, three days later, it's like nothing happened. She does that shit. You know, that's just, that's crap, dude. And I know, like, she's just treating me like shit when she does shit like that. And then she'll go a week where everything's great, and she's like, always trying to, you know, come see me and all this shit. So I don't, I, it's just nuts. I think it's about polarism. And her politics are just so fucking stupid. I just don't, I don't, like it makes me sad because when she's not like that crazy acting, she's super cool and fun and we get along great, <clears throat> but when she is, I can't fucking deal with it. Hit that rebel. I know, I mean, that, like that's the conclusion I've come to, it's just, it's tough to do it. <laughs> you know, I really have tried. <laughs> Something about Hispanic girls that I like, but there's so few that aren't liberal. But like, a normal liberal, I could even deal with. Like, I feel like I could invert somebody like that because I have... There's, hey, there are some because they've been on podcasts recently saying how they left the Democratic Party. It's called Red Pill. Have you heard this? Like, getting red pilled? Like, The Matrix? Like, how deep the rabbit hole goes? Like, they actually see all the shit that's happening for the first time? Yeah, there's been a few black people that were, like, popular on YouTube that. Like totally switch their videos to conservative. Yeah, but one thing you almost never hear a uh, conservative go liberal. <laughs> That's one thing you never fucking hear. There's not that many, I just know a few prominent ones. But I definitely hear you. Most of them are so hard-headed that facts just don't even fucking sway in their opinion. Yeah, it's more about feelings that are unwarranted. It does. And she told me that I was drinking the Kool-Aid when I was watching Ben Shapiro's podcast. I was just like, are you fucking serious? Never thought I'd be down in the trenches. Yep. It does. I'm a Vader, by the way. Ah, shit. Okay. Fuck, I just... Can't. Lando killed me. Fuck! Nigger! The rebels have erased everything useful. This operation has ended and the fleet will take over. Roger that. Roger, I gotta get something too. Alright, bro. Oh, I got first! I got first! I got first! Oh! 
Uh, I'll record it.